Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Kim Yahani binti Kamsadun Metric number 188270 So in this video I will be explaining about the cancelling approach uh, for KSL Holdings per Hat uh, First of all Cancelling is an acronym where each letter of the word cancelling stands for crucial characteristics to look for in a firm Cancelling was created by American William O'Neill and is designed to help investors uh, make better investing decisions by discovering high-performing growth stocks. Uh, Cancelim also incorporates trading guidelines to help traders buy stocks before it goes up in value while reducing the loss. Uh, the purpose of Cancelim, like practically any other stock trading method, is to help traders uncover stocks that have uh, the potential to beat the market as a whole and other companies in the same industry. Uh, fast moving markets are the greatest place to use cancelling method. Next, I will be telling a little bit about KSL company's background. Uh, KSL Holdings Berhad has been operating in Johor for over 30 years and is one of the largest property de developers in the state. Their main business uh, includes property development, property management and property <coughs> investing. Uh, KSL Holdings has broadened its uh, activities to Klang Valley and has a significant presence inside the Iskandar region uh, with the goal of becoming one of Malaysia's top 10 property developers. First criteria in cancelling is current earnings, also known as current quarterly earnings per share, uh, referred to the profit of a publicly traded company per outstanding share of stock. Uh, earnings per share is usually calculated using yearly or quarterly earnings. Uh, company must uh, have 18% to 20% rise in currently quarterly earnings per share over the same quarter the prior year to qualify for the cancelling technique. From the graph shown, it is the net profit of KSL holding for the first quarter of 2021 financial year of 31st December uh, that has been announced by the company. As stated from the graph, it shows that the net profit and earnings per share are increasing uh, positively from previous quarter of the year where in December 2020, the company are facing a loss uh, with negative 77.95 uh, million ringgit. Uh, this may caused by the pandemic COVID-19 that uh, first happened on uh, that year since the economy is still trying to adapt to the new changing on economy and market trend. Even so, in the first quarter of 2021, KSL managed to improve their net profit of 17.06 million ringgit uh, with an earning per share of 1.68. Uh, this is followed by the improvement and recovery of the economy during that time. Uh, this positive increment is a good thing for KSL because it shows that the company somehow uh, managed to sustain back their profit after losing so much in the previous year. Uh, the second criteria under the Cancelim is annual earnings. According to the Cancelim approach, uh, traders uh, should hunt for a high growth uh, stock uh, with improved yearly earnings over the previous 5 years. Uh, this indicates that the growth may be observed in the annual earnings growth over the prior 5 years. As can be seen in the graph above, profit of the tax or net profit for KSL has somewhat increased in the 5 years preceding to 2017 after declining from 317 million in 2016 to 220 million in 2017. Uh, despite the fact that net profit is rising, KSL will not be able to maintain its rise in 2020 as the net profit have been negative 64.2 million ringgit. However, the firm was able to return the profitability in the first quarter of 2021 uh, without incurring a loss. KSL does not uh, fully meet the cancelling criteria for yearly increase. The annual earnings criterion uh, looks for high growth business that not only have great earnings but also use those earnings effectively. Uh, the third criteria in Kesslim is uh, man uh, new management, new project or news. Uh, companies needed something new to create the type of growth demanded by Kesslim criteria. Uh, there should be new things that can be impactful to the company's future and pushing the stock price 
such as new goods, uh, service or newly uh, appointed a strong management team. According to the report, uh, KSL Holdings Berhad is listed at Busan, Malaysia with one other firm as a stock uh, with positive momentum. Uh, we feel that when the price rises uh, with the good momentum, uh, this means that uh, investors and traders are willing to buy the stock uh, because so many individuals wanted to acquire the shares. Uh, it shows that the firm is solid. People are also putting their faith in KSL, believing that the firm can maintain its current profitability and income in the future. A fourth criteria under the Kanslim is supply demand, where the desire to buy a stock in relation to the number of stock shares available uh, is referred to as supply and demand in the context of stocks. Uh, during price increase, uh, the company should have large trading volume and a small float, uh, which is a number of shares available to the public for trading, in comparison to other companies. Uh, so for KSL, the number of out share outstanding uh, based on the above picture is 1.17 billion units. To get to know whether this is a good stock or not, we need to compare it uh, with another stock that is in the same sector as KSL. It is also stated above that the volume is 1,297,477 uh, unit lower than the average volume for 3 months and it means investors' attention are still not fully concentrated on these KSL stocks. Even the demand is really low, the company still receives some demand from the investors. Uh, move on to the fifth criteria of cancelling which is L that is stand for leader or legged. Uh, this criteria determines whether the company is a leader or a legged. A uh, leader here means stocks that are very quick to respond to any catalyst related to a sector. A uh, legged on the other hand uh, refers to stocks that are reluctant to react and often uh, move after leader stocks have already completed their run. Uh, to determine uh, whether the company is a leader or legged, uh, we can use relative strength index uh, to measure the magnitude of recent price changes. Uh, based on the above uh, chart for one year period, uh, the relative price index used to compare the price changes for KSL, uh, Finance Index and Property Index from Bursa, Malaysia, as KSL is a company that involves in finance and real estate development sector and also a FB, uh, FBM KLCI which is a capitalization weighted stock market index. Uh, we can see that KSL is uh, lagging behind as the price movement for KSL are uh, averagely lower uh, with negative 12.32% and then the movement of both of the index price uh, with positive 10.15% uh, uh, and 11.16% uh, and negative 0.01% for FPM KLCI that is related to the company sector. For the time being, uh, KSL cannot be considered as leader alongside of other company in the same sector. Uh, like good stocks uh, might receive a lower profit return than the average return of other leader company in the same sector. Uh, sixth uh, criteria uh, is institutional investors. Uh, where according to O'Neill, a company must have uh, a sufficient number of institutional investors as their shareholders, uh, mutual funds, insurance firms, um, bank uh, government bodies and other institutional investors are examples of institutional investors. Um, institutional investor usually is a group of financial institutions that have a big capital of investment. It is matter for the company to have more institutional investors as they can help in giving a positive impact for the company as they has more and bigger fund that influence uh, that other ordinary retail investor. Basically, from the above statement, uh, we can see that from the adjustment float, it says 41.3% uh, and it means that KSL currently has more institutional investor uh, with 58.7% which is more than the retailer from the flood stated. Uh, these institutional investors are an organization that invest their money or fund on behalf of other people. 
example of institutional investor in KSL is Public Mutual Berhad, PB Small Cap Growth Fund and Employees Provident Fund Board. Since KSL has more institutional investor than invest uh, with your stock, we can say that they can be included as a good company fundamentally. The last criteria of cancelling is market direction. Uh, purchases of stock uh, should only be made when the market is trending upwards uh, to be able to schedule uh, the stock buy correctly. Investor must find and must first understand the broader market direction, uptrend, downtrend, or consolidation, which means sideways, uh, the three direction in which uh, the market moves. So this graph shows the market direction for KSL in one year period, from June 2020 to June 2021. Uh, based on that, we can see that from July to November 2020, uh, market performance for KSL is a downtrend. Starting in the middle of November, market for KSL is rising and stays sideways until it soars even higher in April 2021. Unfortunately, the trend goes back down until May and only recorded a little growth in June. Overall, from this short term period, we can assume that the possibility for the market to increase and show the uptrend can be considered moderate. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this is the market trend for KSL in a long term period from 2003 to, to current year of 2021. Uh, it is shown that from 2003 to 2013, um, which is in 10 years period timestamp, uh, the market trend is a sideway. Uh, the price goes up even higher in middle of uh, year 2014 from 2.290 in July to 4.945 in September. Uh, by staying high at that time, uh, the market also goes way down real fast in December and stay downtrend for a long time until present. Since the market is not an uptrend, then the company will not be making much progress as it will be difficult to move higher unlike the uptrend market. To conclude all the cancelling criteria for KSL Holdings per head, uh, begin with the current earnings for KSL. It demonstrates that the firm is performing well since the current earnings is increasing. Uh, then KSL's annual growth over the last 5 years has been uneven as seen by their diminishing uh, net profit each year. KS, uh, KSL also may be pleased of its announcement because the firm has been listed as one of the companies uh, with favorable momentum, uh, momentum in Bursa Malaysia multiple times. The firm also has large supplies of supply, uh, while the demand for the firm is extremely low. KSL is also termed as a legged company if compared with the market index. KSL also shows that they have many institutional investors. Finally, market direction for KSL is a downtrend. Overall, KSL is a great company but it simply lacks in a certain area but the, deci the decisions uh, to invest is entirely up to the investor.